At Monochrome we usually focus on men's watches, but since we started covering ladies' watches last year, we thought it's about time that we focus on ladies' watches on video as well. We chose to have a closer look at a classic, an iconic ladies' watch, the Bulgari Serpenti. It was launched in the 1940s and it has adorned many famous wrists. And 70 years later it's still available in various shapes. The most recognizable version is the Tubo Gas, with a flexible metal bracelet that coils around the wrist. We'll be talking with Jean-Christophe Barbin, Bulgari's CEO, and Guido Torreni, Managing Director of Bulgari Watches. Since it's about ladies' watches, we've asked the help of Italian actress, TV host, and former MTV presenter, Giorgia Serena. For the occasion, we're at Bulgari's oldest boutique at the Via Condotti in Rome. Well, obviously, uh, the snake as such has ever been a fascinating symbol and animal ever since mankind exists. You can indeed, and we are is often presenting serpent exhibition, and you can find uh, on the planet, in every region, every culture, every time, kind of worshipping, admiration, fascination for, for the snake. It can be artistical, can be cultural, but viscerally, everywhere you go, the snake has ever been uh, in mankind. Uh, a mesmerizing animal. And it's not a surprise that in the context, already in Egyptian times, uh, Egyptian jewelers, those who were uh, working for uh, Queen Cleopatra, did craft gold to turn it into a fascinating jewel. And since there's really probably this uh, unique background in the field of symbols in the field of jewelry, which has turned uh, the watch itself, the Bulgari watch in the 20th century, as a mythical object. Obviously, because it was nicely crafted, obviously, because it was a secret watch, so there was mystery. But this mystery of the secret watch was so consistent with the snake itself, which is a very uh, strange, mysterious, fascinating animal. The serpent Bulgari snake was reborn in the late 40s uh, as a secret watch. And immediately afterwards, obviously, uh, became a, a jewelry line, uh, an accessory line to become no one else, the ultimate Bulgari feminine symbol, uh, which uh, you find on the one hand in our uh, ladies' jewelry watches and watches. Uh, the most famous being probably is the Serpenti Tubogas, but not only, we have also Scalier Centauri. To be also in the field of jewelry, uh, our number one line in terms of brand representation, and obviously in the bags, if we think about uh, the ladies' bags, the Serpenti Forever. Uh, with a metallic head which is causing the bad, has become a symbol of the exclusive, ultimate uh, evening bag for refined ladies. So it's really embodying the brand as much as 2700 years of Roman history, uh, including but not only uh, the arrival of Queen Cleopatra in Rome with a serpentine bracelet on her wrist. Georgia, thanks to uh, join us here. And since I'm not fit to do any talks about the Tubal Gas, how it feels, <laughs> I was so happy that you were joining us and uh, telling us about the experience. How was it? Oh, well, first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, it, was, it was an experience. Once you wear it the first time, you fall in love with it because uh, it's, first of all, it's so modern. There's a little bit of classic in the design, but compared to the ancient one, let's say, mm -hmm. to the, the first model. It's, it's really modern because of the texture, because of the three golds, because of the design, because it's two pieces in one and so you don't need anything else to complete your look. So it was really, really funny to wear it on the everyday life because it fits perfectly with any kind of outfits you choose. You, had to, you, you felt you had to be very careful with it or it was just no. like put it on and just wear it and enjoy? Just you put it on like this in a very easy and simple way. You adjust it a little bit and it's done. And the thing is that it's, 
is so smooth and it's so um, flexible that it's really easy wearable and you move, you do whatever you want during the, the day and during the night, you don't feel it in a, in a negative way. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you, you feel that you have something precious in you, but at the same time, it's very comfortable. And it's perfect because uh, it reflects perfectly what I am, to be special in a way, but with simple, amazing things. Did you get re reactions on it when you were wearing it? Well, my friends, the first time they did it, it was like touching it because uh, as you, yeah, as, as to understand the, the texture and the, um, uh, yeah, the, the way it moves. Because in, in fact, you, it's easy to, to play with it, uh, even if you wear it and you see on someone else, uh, the first time, is, the first thing is the curiosity of understanding how it works. Exactly. <laughs> so they were all looking at it, but uh, to, they wanted to play with it, to extend it, and to understand how flexible it was, and, uh, and they, they put it on. It's something that if you try it, you understand that it's something unique and really, really modern. First of all, there's nothing like Serpenti. How did you uh, come up with the idea, this visionary idea of the snakes and, and this kind of movement? Well, first of all, when you think about a watch for ladies, usually in the market you see a men's watch done smaller. And uh, we think, as a jeweler, first of all, and as Italian, uh, that a woman de deserves much more. Right. So, we specifically designed something meant to be for a woman that we have in mind. And uh, the creativity was to, to find a way to, to make a, a woman's wrist be as beautiful as possible. And you got it. I think you got <laughs> it. <laughs> but the, the special thing is about tubo gas. I mean, this is... This is really a creative thing because um, it's special that you used the tubo gas to make it a, a bracelet for a, a timepiece. Well, basically, when you think about how could I serve uh, a woman in designing something so feminine, so sensual, uh, you have to have an idea and the idea has to be very powerful. And uh, being Italians uh, in our culture of Italian design, uh, we are able to see, to observe and to be visionary and see things that others can't. And that's why when you look at the gas pipe, we thought that it was a jewel, Aww. that it was a timepiece, because it was very flexible and when you observe this object that you have in front of you every day uh, and you find that it could be much more, that's where your vision comes in, in the picture and it becomes uh, unique, very unconventional, but very familiar because you're acquainted to it in other ways. And when it becomes a jewel, it becomes something else. And uh, to make it become a timepiece uh, has been a natural extension, if you want, uh, that uh, accompanies the woman every day because the watch is a functional object, if you want, but you don't by watch till the time you have to you have to express something much more and serpenti in our opinion especially the tubo gas is uh, something really really unique the other thing that i wanted to to clear i mean to understand uh, is that this is a a perfect piece for every moment of daily life the serpenti tubo gas for sure is something that you can wear in a very casual outfit, but it can be also expressing its dignity in a, in a gala dinner in a, in a way that uh, no other watch can do. Right. But for those special moments, you also have something. The more formal you go, the less you should be wearing a watch. Okay? That's why secret watches are born. Secret watches are objects that you don't see that they are watches because they are secret watches okay. and uh, these are expressions of this uh, when you have 
the watch that is hidden in the watch head, you open it wow. and discreetly you can tell the time and then you close it and it's a bracelet. And if it's midnight, you run away with the snake. <laughs> Talking about the beginning of the Tubogas, this is one of the first pieces, right? From the 1950s and 40s, beginning of the 50s, uh, objects were obviously different in shape. Everything has become bigger right. today. And here you had a, one of the first uh, interpretation of the Tubogas with this uh, very peculiar watch head shape. Uh, in exactly. Italian it's called ogivale. It's, a, it's this like a drop. Like of, a drop. Uh, right. like a drop. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was typically um, the way that we used to play with uh, the shape of the watch. It could be in many different uh, executions. But this was uh, a combination of three different gold colors from the yellow to the white up to the um, pink that uh, this year we re-edited in the inverse chromatism. And as oh. you can see, 70 years passed and you have a completely different mood. Right. Very much more contemporary, very much more uh, modern. modern, if you want. Uh, but still, I believe that when, and this is really the quest of what we're doing in design, is to design something that is contemporary, but is, is timeless. And it's linked to the history. And it's, the... it's in your heritage, but you don't copy your heritage right. because exactly. we don't really do that. It's like saying that before it was better. They're great, I yeah. I don't yeah. think, I think evolution should be always bringing you to, into a better place. And uh, that's why we, we take inspiration from our past, but we, we write our future. Well done. Thank you. <laughs>